Hey, 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 everyone. This is Manish Verma. So, in this video, we are uh, inserting some more data. So, you can also you can watch my previous video in which we have to be discussing about uh, uh, SQL connection. Uh, we have already discussed about SQL connection. So, in this video, we have to be discussing about some more uh, additional query or some more additional uh, logic in which we are fetch uh, all data about you of users and uh, we also customize our data here okay so so first uh, add some more data let's change that name because that's name is already inserted california and suppose la female primary z g okay so and uh, some more data yeah. mark mark primary male LV seven seven sorry seven okay and save it so you can here see that we have inserted two data okay and let's check our admin panel so where is it here and uh, refresh it here so you can see here that we can insert a, we have inserted z and mark okay so what we have to do now so let's suppose you have to see user all users data means you have to see all data of users so here is some uh, simple logic to see that which is app dot get in the get method slashed user so yes there is also a callback uh, what's going on yep callback rest and in the callback function let's see some messages from the console user user with fetch i think fetch all users okay and not all that much let's SQL query here select star from what is our table name user user yes of course it's a user name and after that get connection okay and uh, query run that query and let's see there are errors occurs or not field let's suppose now it's not required for us if er uh, means error if there are any error yes we have to shown some messages also fail to fetch all user data and after that dress dot send status which means 
it's giving our status is giving status code to us 500 which is internal server error if any error occur then it's give us error okay and the rest is end okay and return that if error is not occur so what we have to do i think we fetch shouldn't success user successfully i think we fetch user sorry successfully and the fetch format is a json format in a row okay so that's how we are fetching we have fetching our data let is also inserted now okay let's comment it here okay we also uh, we sorry we again inserted that two rows okay you can see here because we run it again then it's also added some user so let's fetch that users user yep is give us an error okay rows is not declare oh sorry we have not declare a rows which mean res respond yes refresh so you can see here rows yes i know it is a uh, really 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 jargons of data and you are not able to see what is going on here so if you want to see that let's on our postman which is really helpful tool for a backend development and it's taking some time to open up so until that we have to do some code now what happened yep it's ready now yes i know you are ready fetch user according their id okay so now we are fetching the user according their id so we have to be inserted a id then we get that user okay slash not a student is a user and whenever we have to insert a value in a url so we must use a colon which is here and that and then id okay so that's mean we have to be insert some value in the uh, header or url to make some customized response so let's console.log uh, same message is here fetch all students fetching user with id so get that id with request dot params dot id okay and const this is a sql query for selecting star from what was your name user and uh, where yep where our id is question mark and what id we have to be fetch so const value which is value i think request dot params dot id now i am here uh, assign the value to the value variable and then activating our query 
डॉट क्वेरी इन द क्वेरी एस क्वेल एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क्स इज अ वैल्यू एंड कॉल बैक फंक्शंस रोस फील्ड्स एरर्स एंड देन कंसोल डॉट लॉग फेल टू पैच यूजर विथ आई डी ओके If is res and status 500, this is internal server error and okay, end it now and return that whole thing. And after that, console dot log. I think that's we. Fetch user with ID. Uh, no, I want. I don't want to use any required JSON. Okay. Rows. Yes, of course. Row. Let's save it. and uh, yes of course it's not showing any error so let's go come on to the uh, postman so it's really helpful to us so open up new tab and local host 3333 slash user yes enter it so it's give you you can i hope you can see here that it's give you a lot of value in in the, our from the our database okay is give you a lot of value from our database so you can see here steve z mark and we have also run the that code again by mistake so then it's also have second input and now let's add our id suppose i want to fetch id 2 then it's fetch from the database z okay so that's how you can uh, fetch the user according their id let's suppose you want to fetch 1 so you have see here that steve is our number 1 id okay and let's suppose we have to fetch 4 and z again z is in number 4th and let's fetch 5 yes mark is in number 5th so that's how you can fetch the id accordingly according to user okay so that's it in this video so in the in this video and the summary about that video we have fetch a user from the database in the first code we have fetch the users we have fetch the all users from the database and we have uh, in the next logic we have fetch users according their id okay so i hope you got that video and uh, i hope you like this video if you like then please hit on it on to the like button and share my video to your friends and grow the knowledge of your friends also so let's see you soon in the next video thank you very much